Alright, what's up guys? So this is just a quick tutorial on how to take your bat using lizard skin bat wrap. So the first step is taking note of where the original batting tape goes up to. So it goes up to about here. So with that in mind, you're going to want to try to not go past where the original tape went. Next, you're going to want to take off the original batting tape. Alright, so now I've stripped all the tape off the bat. And if you have a metal bat that's tapered at the end, in other words, if you have a metal bat that's thin and then towards the knob, the handle gets a little thicker, you'll notice that there's plastic tape right under the actual grip. You're not going to want to mess with that. Under there is rubber that actually gives the taper at the end of the knob. So you're not wanting to take that off. Unless you don't like the taper, then you can take that rubber off. But once you've taken all the tape off your bat you're going to go ahead and open up the lizard skin when you unwrap your lizard skin you'll get one little strip and then the whole roll of bat tape we're going to put this off to the side for now all right so now that you've unraveled your lizard skin grip you'll notice that each end is not the same one end goes a lot longer and a lot thinner this is the end that's going to go by the knob of your bat and the thicker end is going to end up higher up towards the barrel so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the longer slanted side of the tape and you're going to take the slanted edge, not the flat edge, but the slanted edge and put that against the knob, just like so. So you put that against the knob and we're just going to wrap it so that it covers all of the handle. And then once you wrap it on the bottom of the handle, you're going to start working your way up just like so. You're going to want to make sure you don't overlap each strip so that the handle stays nice and even throughout the whole way. Alright, so now once you've wrapped the bat completely in your lizard skin, you'll notice that it goes insanely high up on the bat. And that's why I told you in the beginning to take note of where the original tape ends so that you know how far to go up with the tape. Then you're gonna to wanna to take off the white tape. So how I like to do it is I like to peel a little, then apply that piece, and then peel a little more, and then apply that piece all the way to where the original tape ends. So once again, you're gonna take the slanted edge and put that at the knob of the bat. So you're gonna to wanna to line it up. Make sure you take your time and be nice and careful here. All right, so now as you can see, I have applied all the way up to where the original tape ends. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get a pair of scissors and we're gonna actually trim the tape right here. It starts to cross the tape. So I'm gonna make a cut. Just like that. And I'm gonna cut all the way across the tape. like so. So now I have that slant. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the bat right there. And as you can see, it's a nice straight end. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the little strip of lizard skin to the very end of the grip to lock it in place and just to make it look a little cleaner on the end. And just like that, you've successfully applied your lizard skin back grip. I hope this video helps. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.